Hey guys, this is Brian with the truthaboutwatches.com. Here with you today reviewing the Vostok Amphibian. Uh, this is a, a really, really cool watch. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Vostok, it's, you really need to check them out. This watch can be had for about $39 on eBay. It's a 32 joule automatic. Uh, they are manufactured in Russia. Just really cool watches all around. If I get it spun up here. The 32 Joule Automatic has been fairly accurate for me. I wouldn't say you're going to keep any time records or break any Swiss, you know, chronometer records, but it's a pretty good watch nonetheless. So there we go, got the hand spun up a little bit. And we'll just take a look at that for a second. The 32 Joule Automatic spins right around 20, 21,000 beats per hour. So the second hand does tick a little bit, but it's not bad. It's it's no worse than a Miyota. Um, one of the important things to note here that makes this watch somewhat frustrating to wear is there's no date quick set and if I can show you here what I'm talking about the only way to set the date quickly is to advance the time past 8 o'clock and get the hour up to 12 and then come back to 8 o'clock and back to 12 and that time it didn't work. I didn't make a full rotation, but <laughs> if you do that after making a full rotation, the date will change. But you do have to go back to 8 to 12, to 8 to 12, to 8 to 12, to change the date quickly. Which, I'm not really a big fan of moving the movement, excuse me, of turning the movement backwards because of what it does to the second hand. I'm not really sure if that would be an issue or not. Oops, it just died on me. I'm not sure if that would be an issue or not. I have heard different opinions on whether or not, you know, doing the reverse pressure hacking is bad for the watch or not. Um, not entirely sure that I want to find out the hard way. Uh, you'll notice this is on one of the James Bond style NATO straps. Uh, the metal bracelet this watch comes with is absolute crap. There's just no other word for it. It is total unadulterated crap. It's impossible to manipulate and completely impossible to take links out of they just did not work very hard on it but for thirty nine dollars I'm not really sure what I was expecting um, there's about I would say thirty variations of this dial there's some that have scuba divers on them there's tanks there's planes there's missiles uh, all these watches are just really really unique the bezel as you can see here has starts with a red dial transfers into black uh, excuse me starts with a red dot and transfers into black dots really serves no purpose whatsoever show you how to move it around here and it's it's a 20 minute indicator or excuse me a 25 minute indicator I don't know what good that could possibly do but there's no clicks and it's bi-directional so you can move the bezel the way you want to move it uh, this particular movement is in almost all of the Vostoks that are actually made in Russia still it again it's a 32 Joule automatic it's a, a very a very very reliable movement from what I'm told I haven't had this watch very long but um, it, this has performed very well for me. It fires right up, as you can see. Um, now, I will say I'm going to have to keep on spinning it because it doesn't last uh, too very long uh, on the initial stages. However, the spring does seem to be very well, uh, I won't say well built, but seems to be a, a decent spring because this watch will almost run for two days uh, without, without touching it. Um, there are some different case shapes you can have with the amphibians. Some of them have what's called a ministry case, which comes out in a big square oval, like a rectangle behind the circle. Instead of having the ordinary circle case like this, it's a rectangle in the back. Uh, one thing I'll show you if I can get a if I can get the strap pulled out here. There's some really cool Russian writing on the back. It just says amphibian in Russian. Um, some of these watches are available with Russian writing all over the dial. Some of them are available with uh, English writing, as you can see here. Uh, I've got a couple different variations. I'll put some pictures up with this review. I'm not going to do a separate review for each individual amphibian because I have too many. But um, again, the movement's been pretty solid. Uh, you're going to want to replace the band immediately upon acquiring one of these watches. They're just really not very good. So let's hit the loom. Um, $39, don't expect much, because <laughs> you're not going to get much. But um, it's really, I've bought these watches for the simple sake of having a conversation piece. I mean, it is a watch that was made in a factory in Russia, and it's just pretty cool. You get a 32 Joule automatic for $39. I don't know how you can beat that. So I'll kill the lights. We'll check out the loom real quick. And as you can see there, it's not super bright, and it's going to die out pretty quick. 
I'll try to hit it one more time with the flashlight, give it a few more seconds. Um, but again, uh, these watches can be had on eBay anywhere from $32 to $59, uh, all the different variations. One of the sellers you're going to want to check out if you enjoy eBay is uh, Zenitar. It's Z-E-N-I-T-A-R. He sells the amphibians and every other Vostok watch you can think of. And he's very reliable. This will be the uh, fifth watch I've purchased from Zenitar. And I've just never had a problem. The watches get here. It takes about two weeks. Uh, they ship them airmail. You can pay for faster shipping if you'd like, but I don't really... I'm not in a big hurry to get them. Um, you can see here that the loom is already just fading, fading, fading away. They just don't last. But, again, I, I've bought this watch more just as something cool to wear than I did to, for anything else. Uh, I tried to get a couple different variations of it just because I think it's an extremely cool watch. I'm going to give it a couple more spins here. One thing to note if you buy one of these watches that they don't really tell you because the instructions are in Russian. Um, when you pull this watch out to manually wind, which I'll let you hear that real quick. Got a cool, pretty smooth sounding manual wind. When you come out to the second stop to adjust the time, what you don't want to do is go back to the second stop, which excuse me, the first stop, which is the manual wind. So if you get into setting the time, what you want to do is push it straight back in all the way, which is going to reset the gasket inside. I don't think there's any way for me to show you this on the review, but inside of the actual crown there is no gasket. The rubber gasket is actually in the case itself. So when you screw this back down, it seals the gasket. If you have a need to do manual winding and time setting, pull it out to the first stop, do your manual winding, push it all the way back in, screw it down, pull it out, come all the way up to the second stop, set the time, push it all the way back in. Uh, you can see that the case is, is pretty small. It's a 40 millimeter case. Uh, Vostok listed as a 42 millimeter. I'm telling you that's not the case. It's a very small watch. Um, again, as you've probably seen my couple of my G-Shock reviews, this really is on the small side for me. Um, I just enjoy it for the conversational aspects of it and just how cool the watch is. So, uh, aside from the quick set date feature, which I will not lie to you, is very annoying. I really only put this watch on when it's close to the date, because <laughs> I don't enjoy setting it up. Um, as a matter of fact, if they made an amphibian that didn't have a date window, I probably would buy a couple of them and wear them all the time. But, uh, it's just a really cool watch. Uh, having something that's made in Russia is just uh, cool for me. One thing I would like to show you is the crystal, if you can see it there, is absolutely massive for this little bitty watch. Um, uh, it says waterproof 200 meters. I'm not sure if I'd test that or not, but with this big massive Coke bottle crystal, it may just be possible. So if you haven't gotten a Vostok yet, you really ought to look into them. They're super cheap and they're very cool and you'll get lots of questions about it and lots of comments. So it's worth checking out. Uh, that'll be it for today, and I'll catch you guys next time.